Bling is my favorite color. Today we're here and we're going to go over something called hair tinsel. Hair tinsel is for those people who love bling. And I happen to be one of those blingy lovers. So here we are. And tinsel is, it's very small and slender. I'm gonna pull out a few pieces. There you go, you can see the hair tinsel. Hair tinsel is a polyester fiber that is tied into the hair. So if it's properly installed, there's not gonna be any kind of damage to the hair. It's really, really fine. It comes in many, many different colors, as you can see, tons of different colors. And um, it can be used for all sorts of different occasions. I have a lot of clients that come in and just get it just because, just because it's fun. It's good for um, little girls and their birthday parties. It's good for things like um, uh, weddings. It's good for things like uh, your New Year's Eve, Christmas parties, all sorts of different occasions. Some people just like to get it just because. So let's put in some red bling into this mannequin head. If you wanted to do something that would just look like diamonds in the hair, then you could do small strands of say gold in the hair. And when the client moves around, then they would only see those when they're moving. So you can see how this one gold one, you don't really see it until the light actually picks it up. So if I can move that across the hair, you can see how, when I'm moving that, see how it shimmers? There we go. So it would look like they actually diamonds in their hair. It's really pretty when you use uh, black on top of black. That's really, really pretty. Okay, so first of all, we're going to make these, and we may have already made them together, but we're gonna make these together. You can buy plastic ones. But in a pinch, when you get stuck and you don't have one, this will help separate the hair and keep it out of the way when you're tying the actual extensions in. You're going to take your applicator or your protector and you're going to pull out a few strands of hair. Now, if you tie the, the tinsel on to too much hair, so this would actually be too much hair for a piece of tinsel and it would be too bulky. So you need only probably about four or five strands of hair to tie it on. Then I'm gonna put the applicator over top of it. You wanna make sure that it's coming straight out from the root. So you can see that's where it's coming from. You wanna make sure that the applicator is sitting over where you're going to tie it on top. That way we can get it as snug as possible to the root. Now we're gonna get our piece of tinsel. Okay, and then you're going to make a kind of slip knot in it. So here is our piece of tinsel. Okay, and the first type of knot that it's gonna be is actually called a cow hitch. That's right, kind of a funny word, but it's called a cow hitch. And what you do is you take it and you're going to go and pinch the, the piece here. So you're gonna hold the loop. This is folded in half. You're going to take it and you're gonna pinch this together. And then I'm going to take it around my hand and I'm going to open up the little loopy part and I'm gonna grab the other strands and pull it through. And there we have it. So that is called a cow yes. hitch. That's right, yes. a cow hitch. So now that we've got that cow hitch knot, we're going to go and slip that over top of the hair. So I have the slip part like that. And then here we go, see how that's coming down. You can see how that, that little part is going to tighten up around the hair. There we go. So I'm going to tighten up as much as possible right to the head and then I'm going to bring some slack together. So with that slack and the reason that we want to have the slack is so we're not actually pulling the little knot part and having that rise up the hair. So once you have your your cow hitch knot installed into the hair 
Which is my favorite color. That's right, your cow hitch knot. We're gonna take it, and now we're going to, like I said, leave some slack. And come back, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna tie it into a knot. Okay, so this is gonna come over top. I'm gonna pull that through like this. Okay, so I can pull that tight again. And then now I'm going to swing it over and I'm gonna to go to the other side. So it kind of makes like a square knot. But what it does is it's over, under, under, over. So by swi switching sides, Oops, kind of lost that there. Try that again. There we go. There we go, and then I got that tied. Once again, bringing up some slack so it's not going to rise up the hair. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the tinsel, I'm gonna part it into two, since I have two, two legs to the tinsel, and I'm now going to tie it. Hair and one piece of tinsel in one side, one piece of tinsel on the other side, same thing. So over and then through. Oops. Like that. You'll find it a little bit easier at home because I have the camera over top of it, of it. So it's kind of like a tight spot to work in. You guys, though, you'll have like lots of elbow room. Then once again, see how I switch sides, cross it over. There we go. Now that we have that all put together. That was easy. That's right. Definitely was. Okay, so there we go. There we have it. Carefully pull this out. There we go. There we have our, our tinsel put in there. Yes! Oh. That was easy! Right, there we go.